I know there's people in this room that have never been uh, soul winning before and have never done any talking before that this year have now gotten to the point to where they can be a talker at the door. That's great. Praise the Lord for that growth. That's awesome. But now let's try to thinking ahead. Say, if that's me, you know, I've gone from maybe not sowing as much to doing more. Let's think about the year coming up. What else can I do to even increase and do a better job? Maybe, maybe you just start learning, but you don't have all the Bible verses memorized for preaching the gospel to someone. You, you really rely on um, or, or you put notes in your, in your Bible of what well, this tells me now to go here and to go there. Why don't you focus more on trying to get that just known in your mind so that you don't have to rely on notes to give the gospel to someone. And hey, if that's where you're at, great, praise God. But what we want to do is focus on growing and learning and doing even more. So what it, wherever it is that you're at in your own walk with God and your own spirituality, let's look at how we can increase that. Keep track of, start keeping track of, if you don't already, your own personal salvations, people that you lead to Christ. Keep track of that. I mean, we keep track of it as a church. It's good. It's motivating. But it's also something that you could look at and be like, well, why is it that it seems like I'm not getting very many people saved lately? I was getting people saved a lot more regularly. What am I doing different? It's a good way to just kind of check yourself. Just, just see Am I getting involved in sin? Am I, am I not putting in very much time? Am I kind of letting the things of God just go on the back burner? Like what's going on to and evaluate where you're at? It's a, it's a good thing to do. And um, so with your own personal, you know, like leading people to Christ, or how about this? Maybe uh, I, one of the things I know Verity, Church, Verity Baptist Church does, which I really love a lot, and I, do, I haven't gotten to the point to uh, creating our, our cards yet, but they have these follow-up cards. But one of the things I like about their, their follow-up is that um, when you get someone saved, pray for that person. Like you lead someone to Christ, get their name, write it down, and, and pray for that person. Pray for them for a whole week. You know, don't just leave it at that door and, and you know, give them time, pray about it, and then, and then see if you could, you could get a hold of them, if they'll give you their contact information, if they're interested in church or whatever, try to, get, try to bring them in church. That's something that, is, that can never just be left up to one person to do. I mean, look at, we had over 300 salvations already. If it was my responsibility to just have to call on all of these people, I mean, I, don't, I just literally don't even have the time to follow up these people. On top of that, they didn't talk to me. They're not going to be any familiarity. I'm just going to be some strange, random stranger calling them on the phone. But you spent the time with that person. You know, and spiritually speaking, if you led them to Christ, you're their spiritual father. You know, like that's, you're the one that gave birth to them. And the Bible is very clear about that as well, that that's how the Apostle Paul dealt with people. He said, you have many teachers, but you, don't, you only have one father. And he was referring to bearing spiritual children.